got my classmate. Class starts in 15 minutes. Let's go. Okay, this is very frustrating. I have to reload the pages so many times before they can actually work. Like there are just probably way too many people on the site. Schoology is down again. Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, I can't really tell what it is. It's some guy on a computer hanging out a window or something. I don't know. We'll open it up and, or I'll try and click a link. Like I was trying to go to this folder and let's see if it works. No. But it just takes a couple minutes and then it'll go back to normal. So for my math class, we just started learning our trigonometry section of it. So we have one, two, three, four, five videos to watch today. How fun does that sound? I'm currently on a Google Meet with my ceramics teacher. So I just finished my first day of distance learning and overall I think it was a very smooth school day um, aside from the school G glitch this morning. But overall I think that it was a pretty good experience and it surprised me a lot because all of my classes today were in asynchronous but I was still able to finish all my assignments before 3 o'clock. It'll be interesting to see how that might change in the next couple of days and weeks. Um, but overall, I think day one was definitely a success. So we are on day two and it looks like Schoology is still not functioning normally. Still have to refresh a billion times, so. There was this message that was posted on the portal that basically says that Schoology is having performance issues and it's also affecting other districts so this might be an issue that will become even more relevant in um, the future of e-learning I think. Um, I'm just on my third hour class and what I like about the e-learning so far is that I can work at my own pace. Um, so in the classes that are easier or we don't have as much to do, we're not just like, sitting around waiting for the bell to ring. I can move on to my next class or I can do work that I need. Or I can spend more time studying for one class than another class, so that's really helpful. I'm, I just finished my math homework and I did... Oh, this is my mom, she says hi. But yeah, um, I got to work outside today, which is really nice. I am doing my FST class. Khan Academy. So we'll see how that goes. I got my candle, um, and I'm about done two hours earlier than yesterday. So I finished day two of distance learning. There were still some issues with Schoology loading, but it didn't really affect me too badly. I just refreshed the page and it ended up working fine. But it should be interesting to see how this might impact summative assessments going forward. That would definitely be an issue if students can't complete quizzes or tests because of the school years. So it's day three and I just woke up and showered and now I'm going to go eat some breakfast. Schoology has completely crashed right when I was trying to turn in a quiz. So there we go, the bad gateway, of course. Okay, so anyone was wondering, I clicked on the like status button and the first day there was still some green, but looks like they're having performance issues all around every single facet of school. Year. What book are you reading next after you read The Crucible? We are reading The Things They Carried. Oh, I'm reading that right now. Is it good? Well, I mean, I haven't started. The only reason I bring that up is because the author of the things they carried, there's this one video right on my thing that, like, is, like, popping up. And he looks like the, like, little, like, guy from the Lord of the Rings. Oh, my precious. 
Okay. And it's time to become a socialist and it's found morning a socialist of day four. Okay, anyways, I'm on a review session. We had uh, 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 the, the bombings on Wall, Wall Street that led to, to um, A. Mitchell Palmer, Palmer and his, 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 his um, trying to hurt. Trying to... For my French class, we're working on um, a unit about technology, 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 technology and like. If your life is better with technology or without it. So, a lot of the stuff we're doing, especially today, um, we looked at the results from our, our Google form that we filled out yesterday, and it's very interesting about, like, um, who thinks their life is better with technology, who thinks their life is better without technology, and, like, what you would do if you lived in a world without technology, so that's really interesting to me. Okay, so, I finished my- why did I just talk in a British accent? Okay, that was weird. Anyways, so- I finished most of my stuff for the day, so now I'm on to ceramics, my favorite class. I'm not even being sarcastic, it is my favorite class. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to try to make a pin tool, a pin tool, a needle tool. So I'm going to tape a little needle, tape it to a pencil. I have a lot of faith in this, so... Oh, this is not working. I already have a bad feeling about this. The only thing about this tape is... I can't... making pizza from home. Um, we have some onions and we have the, the dough in here that's currently being made. We also have the sauce. On behalf of all of us as a group, we just wanted to thank y'all for watching and that we hope you guys enjoy because it was a lot of fun for us to film and to edit. So if you liked this, then y'all should let us know so that we can keep creating more. Also, just gonna kind of do some PR here. Y'all should follow us on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, at Edina is Zephyrus, if you want more content. And that's the same for our online website, which is edinazephyrus.com. But again, thank you for watching. You know how it be. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Put our post notifications on, all that jazz.